So today I'm going to be filming a tack haul video. Um, me and my parents along with my boyfriend had went down to the city to get a few things because my parents had some things they needed done and my boyfriend needed stuff for grass. But I also got to go to a tack store and picked up a fair amount of tack. So I am quite excited about everything that I got along with that some of these things are things that I've been looking at online for a long time and we're like searching and searching and finally found them. But most of the stuff was bought, or all of it, at Kitty's Tech and Western Wear in Grand Prairie, Alberta. So first off, I thought I would start with my boots that I bought. For my boyfriend's grad, I'm escorting him and I needed cowboy boots because he wants to wear cowboy boots and mine are destroyed. All, well, all of my pairs are destroyed actually. <laughs> so I got these, they're Ariats. They're actually a men's cowboy boot because I liked the men's ones better. I don't know if this is going to focus, so... They're very simple, very plain because we're wearing burgundy, so those are those. Next off would be my professional's choice cinches that I bought with the fleece liners. Ace gets a lot of rubs from his cinches usually, so I bought him the one that has real fleece on it instead of like the fake stuff because it didn't the fake one which is at a way better price um did not come in the length because he needs a 34 so that is the professional's choice one it's just very simple western cinch okay next off i actually ended up buying the fake one as well because Keila needed a new cinch as well because his was an old one that was getting stretched out and so the this was starting to cause a pressure point because it had like pushed past here but it was it's on a completely different um, cinch but this one was a lot better price and it's a 28 because that's what fits best the fake fleece and the real fleece liner both velcro off from this part so that way you can wash these because horses are dirty animals next up are actually let's not about those I actually found a halter that I've been looking for for a long time for tequila. It's made by Professional Choice as well. And so it is just a plain burgundy rope halter except for the nose band and it comes with um, a, a burgundy lead as well. But the nose band is a beaded burgundy and blue pattern. I just really liked it. So I've been looking for this for a while though in store because I didn't feel like ordering online because I don't know why. But I found it in store and I got excited so I bought it. Okay, next are some boring <laughs> items. Um, I got the Shoshin bath in a bottle just because it's too cold here right now to actually bath them. And just regular Shoshin because I was out of it. One thing with the Shoshin, don't make the mistake of putting it under your saddle. I have made that and it is so bad. It's so slippery. Don't do it. And then these are not mine. Um, my dad bought spurs because I ride his spurs and I told him he should probably ride his spurs as well when he rides my horses. They're just little basic bumper spurs with very basic um, spur straps. Oh, I also got this pail because I needed another large water pail for high school rodeo because we I have one big pail and then we we're using little pails for the second horse because I keep them separate. And um, they kept knocking them over in the middle of the night and I am like, I only have so much water with me on the weekends so it was getting a little bit fussy. Okay, now to the things I'm really, really excited about. So, I had seen these and my friend has the bell boots of them. They are like you're just your regular professional choice elite um, sport boot, but they have llamas on them, which I thought was super cute. And so they've just got like little llamas all over. But I found those, fell in love with those. So I just got the four of them with the four legs of the horse <laughs> and then my mom found these and I got was like choosing between the llama ones and these ones and then she's like you know what I'll get these ones for you so that way I can dress up a horse too so I'm like okay 
Thank you, Mom. Um, these are like a maroon burgundy color with leopard print, which are not going to focus either. But I just think they're super cute and they look a little bit more classy than my llamas. But I just think the llamas are dope. And then she also got the bell boots because you gotta match. But I didn't get the llama bell boots because they didn't have them in my size. Well, my horse is nice. Um, but, yeah, so, these and the legs looking super, super good. Well, sort of last, but definitely not least, was, this is not from Kitty's, I was actually at PB Mart and found this, and I was like, wow, that's a really cool men's shirt. So, here is a men's small from Panhandle, <laughs> um, but it is super cute, it's like a, like, creamy, pinkish blush color. But I just thought this was super cool with just horses running across it. I really liked it. So more on that this weekend to the high school area. Okay, last but not going to show you guys it because they're over there. Um, I also really love um, thrift stores. And if you have a thrift store near you and are okay with wearing used clothes, do it. Because this weekend I found a couple pairs of Levi's that were like 11 bucks. So that was freaking great. And then cute babies I also found. I found a pair of those which were made by Weaver um, for like 20 bucks and they were pretty much brand new. And some other things. I don't, oh, I found a really nice denim jacket that I really liked that I got for like 9 bucks. So like, Value Village is the place to be. But if you're not up for that, I understand. But I love thrift stores. <laughs> so anyways guys, thanks for watching. Thanks for seeing what I bought, I guess. I don't know. But... I'm hoping to have my uh, tack room done right away here. We finally got the chandelier along with the flooring. I just need to get a door handle. And then it'll be complete and the video will be up. Anyways, goodbye. Thanks, guys. See you later.